other verse. Greetings, I'm Shad, and I'm here in the Shadlands doing some adventuring. But while I'm here, it's also a great opportunity to discuss the importance of edge angle on weapons, specifically swords. And what prompted me to make this video is that recently I have purchased some machetes. And the difference in performance was quite striking. And I had a look at what possibly could be causing it. And indeed, when I was taking a closer look, it was actually the angle of the edge. And so this is very, it's significant for a number of reasons, because when it comes to swords, you of course want them to cut very well. Now, of course, one of the other great things sword can do is to thrust, but we're not talking about thrust, we're talking about cutting here. And there's a number of different elements that come into, into play that affect a sword's ability to cut well. And it's a wide range of things from the width of the blade to the actual blade proportions, dimensions, okay, look at the profile. The weight distribution is a big one, how much leverage you can throw into a strike. And so there's a lot happening. But one of the things that I find is overlooked a lot is the angle of the edge. Now, what am I talking about when I say the angle of the edge? So I come in close, okay. You'll notice that the uh, sides of the blade have to taper in to meet on the edge. That is the edge bevel. And so I'm just gonna put my sword down for a second. See uh, how well it stays there. Not bad, actually. Um, so that was the edge angle. But the acuteness or width of the angle affects how well a sword can cut quite dramatically. So what I mean about this, if we actually pretend each, each one of my hands represents one of the sides of the blade that is coming in on, okay, towards the actual bevel. So the width of that bevel plays a very significant role. So much so that something stood out me recently when I got these machetes, because I bought these machetes to do, you know, some chopping wood stuff here in the Shadlands, adventuring. And I was shocked, legitimately shocked, at the difference of performance of specifically two of these machetes. These ones. I expected this one to do quite well. The weight distribution feels really, really decent. It's solid. It's actually uh, more, far more stiff and rigid than this one. This one looks a bit janky, okay. Weight-wise, it's got some good heft, so that's a good thing. But look at the flex on this, okay. And so, usually, something that's stiffer and has a nice, you know, angle of the blade, should cut decently well. Well, let me show you the difference in the performance of these two machetes. So, if I now just hold this and try and do some very basic superficial side cuts like this, okay? That's actually pretty decent. Like, this is... <laughs> chopping through that well that's actually really good okay so now flip it up compare it to this okay it's like hitting it with a blunt bar obviously it's not an exact blunt bar but <laughs> so this isn't necessarily the difference of how sharp the edge is. This is decently sharp. This is it's like, I would actually say they're very comparable when I just feel how cute it is with my thumb. The massive difference that was being created there was the angle of the bevel and edge. So I doubt we'll be able to, you know, get it to focus to see how steep wide the bevel is on this one. So we'll see what we can do in post. Such a dramatic difference, especially in actual chopping. This is garbage. I think it would do pretty well if we resharpened it and got the edge bevel much more shallow. But just comparing it again, like that was, that was almost shocking at how well this weird looking cutlass machete chopped into the wood. Like, <laughs> to the point of getting stuck, right? That's what, like, honestly, this is like the performance you would want out of machete, right? And again, this one, like... <laughs> 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 
we are close like <laughs> it's like it's blunt but again it's all about the edge bevel so that is actually quite dramatic in my opinion and uh now kind of translate that to swords okay you could have a brilliant sword that is got great properties in terms of its uh, proportions, its weight distribution, its quality of steel, uh, all those things. And, oh gosh, it's like Excalibur. Um, <laughs> all those things, right, could be messed up by the type of sharpening that's done on it with the edge bevel. Now, this is my windlass English, English two-handed from windlass. And uh, the sharpening on it is actually put a fairly steep and wide edge bevel on it, which is going to be interesting when I try and test cutting with this. Um, I don't have a titanium accent, so we'll try that in the future. But I'm suspecting that the performance on this is going to be severely affected by the type of sharpening that's had on it. So there we go. Edge, angle and bevel on swords and how they can dramatically affect their performance. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And of course, hope to see you on the next video on Shadowversity. So until that time, farewell.